But we'll get to that. We'll not bother with that yet. What I want you to do, yes, very much so, is to have an experiment with this cataleptic arm stuff. And there's a few ways you can do it. You can do this the, the way Gordon's just did it. Another way you can do it is if you say... Oh, I'll you can shake someone's hand, okay? And I can now feel Sue's wanting to let go because her hand got a bit... And I've got tactile input. But it's a weird thing to have someone keep shaking your hand. and Because it, it's unusual. You can just keep shaking it. Just keep shaking it. And that's an unusual thing, isn't it? That's going to drop, isn't it, as soon as I let go? I'm not going to do that. So that's one way you can kind of... It, it's almost like a derailing tactic. Some call it pattern interrupts. Did you ever see the thing on... Um, it was on television. This is a long years ago when I had one. Shake hands, man. It was some crazy Japanese thing. And there was a guy who used to go up to people and just... <laughs> Japanese... Everyone just... Uh, no, no, no. That's not racist, by the way. It's impersonation. <laughs> and he'd speak very fast and just keep shaking their hand until the person would get the fuck off me. And this would go on sometimes for minutes. <laughs> That's a weird thing. So, like, that person at that point where they're like, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It is Banzai. It was a really strange thing. And I'd be there. Celebrities on the red carpet or something. Yeah, you do interview them, wouldn't you? You make lots of money from it. I, I, I don't know. I'm just wondering what his motivation was. Oh, just a man thing. You'd never understand it. <laughs> Hold on to that. Groucho Marx used to do that as well. Get people to do that and get them to go. For the ages. Yeah, like a funny. So this is a similar one to what Gordon's doing. I did this for two reasons. Three, actually, because I just wanted to pick on you. I noticed there was a movement towards unscrewing the top of that coke, and I interrupted the pattern. And now I'm just doing that. Now that is, it, it, what's, isn't that unusual? You can put it down. So what I want you to do is just play with, and that's a strange thing. <laughs> what I want you to do is just play with these three things. One's a handshake, but to keep shaking hands and not let go until you feel something that's weird. Because you all shake hands with people, right? I presume you do, unless it's against your custom or something. Some people, some people just bow. So you can shake hands with someone and go, look at your hand, Ange. There, look at it and focus on that point. And as you do, be aware of everyone else in the room as you focus in on that hand. And notice that smile while you breathe can really let you focus in on that. And you can feel the weight of your foot on the floor, that smile developing. And isn't it curious that that hand just stayed there as you really focus in and I wonder if it will move towards your face or away and you can be very curious about that because it's an unusual thing isn't it to have a hand just there notice how your changing focus of attention can go from the outside to the in and the more you laugh the stranger that hand will look and a stranger's hand's a strange thing, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. That's a pattern interrupt, okay? You go to shake someone's hand and grab it. So it's like if I was doing it with my friend John, it's just before it gets there, touch it to you and say, look at your hand. And it's thank you. It's important to get these are just things you can do with people. It's important at that point where you go to shake hands, because when you at that point we're expecting a hand contact. That's where you grab it and people on the inside are now going, huh? And you say, Look at your hand and you can point to it and touch it, thank you. That's the direct that's the like little bit of time you've got in there to make a direct input into what you want someone to do. And then the rest up to you. But you can just, you know, I'm just engaging the senses. Look at your hand, listen to my voice. You know there's people in the room. Say someone, smile, utilise it. That's an unconscious response to smile. It's a good one. It got smaller. Uh, it's back to the, the, the usual size now. So this is, 
these are a few things I want you to literally to play with so you can practice the handshake introduction, which is you go to shake hands, interrupt it, and say, look at your hand and listen to my voice while you breathe. And just know, I mean, what we're looking for here is a kind of catalepsy. If you do that with the shake, shake someone's hand, you can just shake, 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 for, for an excessively long time. And they might look at you, and at that point, you could disengage and just hold it up. It's the same as what Gordon's doing. You're looking to get the hand cataleptic, and then you're going to use it. But we'll get it cataleptic first. So it's stiffness. Useful. It's stiff, but it doesn't feel stiff. It's not like you're forcing it. It's yeah. like it's not there. And it it's is. Like it is stiff. It, yeah. And it doesn't feel stiff. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's still there. And it makes you giggle too, right? <laughs> is that clear enough for you to go and have a play? And me and Gordon will, and John can as well, meander around and just invite people if you're got anything stuck or rigid that doesn't need to be. <laughs> <laughs> you might get a cataleptic leg. Is that clear enough? Yeah. Handshake interrupt. <laughs> the other one, where you just say, give me your arm. Now this is not the same as what Gordon did, but it's like it. You're still doing the kind of ambiguous touch. And, and just touch, 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 touch. And you know, like you, sometimes you'll take the weight on each finger, but that's cataleptic now. It's not dropping. And isn't it interesting that while you look at that, that other hand can move so easy. You can move that other hand. Of course you can. Yet that one's there, like that arm. Now that might be a strange thing. And as you focus in on that and breathe, while you allow whatever wants to happen to the arm, you can just learn something about that hand. That you can move, right? You can move that hand, no problem. Can you move all those fingers stiff? Can you move your fingers in that arm? Isn't that a strange thing? <laughs> and the more you try to, I mean, that one's fine, isn't it? And the more you yeah. try to move those fingers, the stiffer they become. <laughs> I mean, I can't do that. <laughs> And the more you laugh, the more you move that, the stiffer this becomes. And this can be like there's an iron bar through here. It becomes so stiff. How stiff is that? I know you ought to try harder, because the harder you try, the stiffer and more locked and solid they become. Well, you can move this. You could even wiggle at all. Yet that arm's there. So what I'd like you to do while this strange thing's going on, yeah. is to simply, only as quickly as your unconscious mind wants to relax that arm and let it go down, to feel really good and learn something for yourself. But only at the rate and speed your unconscious can and will relax that. And there's no need to hurry because that other arm can move, that hand and fingers can free up and start to lower. You can feel it going down. That's right. Now, there you go. Now, I don't know what you've learned that you could be aware of in that. What a strange thing, huh? <laughs> <coughs> so these are what I want you to play about with. 